I'm Mark Callan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwaterquare.com, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank. RUF, raw, uncut, first impressions, taking a second look at the current USA R24 Lite. Last week I took a quick look at it, unboxed it, gave it the once over. Today we're gonna get into the tech side and use the Loop app to do some controlling of this thing and it give you my feedback. So, let's get started. So this light uses the current USA Loop app for either Android or iPhone users. It does have a QR code that you can scan in the instructions. I'm actually reading the instructions, which is nice. You don't have to go search for it. Is this the right one or not? Scan the QR code, takes you right to it. Now this app is not optimized for an iPad. Not the end of the world, just something I noticed when I fired it up. So let's go out and let's try to add this device. See if we can make it find the light. First thing, select an accessory loop. That's the light. Let me click into this. And <laughs> I am the leprechaun. This thing's gonna fire up. I'm gonna put this on the floor. Actually, you know what? Let's have some fun with this. Let's not. All right, so set it up, system name, let's give this thing, and we're gonna put this over my tank, and you guys can have some fun watching me be Mr. Blue. Maybe my, I'll start to glow because, you know, it's looking good under the blues. All right, next, we're gonna go into, again, I'm going through this blind. I'll give you the once over land instructions, scanned it real quickly, and then went from there. So the one thing that I did notice about this thing, it has a temperature setting which is pretty cool. So it will tell you, do you want to select this? You don't have to use it, but you can. So that's something that's neat. Here we are in the light app. So one thing, so there's a forecast. That's cool, sunny, giving me a temperature reading of 62.6. Okay, so that's not accurate at the moment. Um, sunrise on at seven, sunset off at five. We have a sound effect here. So let's just go in here and program this thing. I'm gonna hit what I'm suspecting I'm supposed to hit, which is a program button. And I've got a couple options. Notice there's lights and there's pumps. Current USA makes some loop pumps that can integrate into the loop app, but we're gonna deal with the light, the R24. So, off, ooh, check that out, on, off. So there is a on, off button for the light. I like that and here's why. There's plenty of times I'm working on a tank and I just want the lights on. Maybe it's after hours or they're dim. It's like end of the day, start of the day. I would like just to have those lights on. There's no easy way to do that in a lot of the lights that I've used. This gives me an easy on and off button. I like that. All right, so we set the sunrise. Ooh, seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, so let's change the color spectrum. We've got some sliders here. Let's turn things down. You certainly don't want to blast your tank um, at that hour in the morning. You can easily make the sliders. I like that they're plus and minus buttons too. This is very easy if you want to make a small increment. That can be hard to do when you're dragging with your finger. So I like that. So that's a nice thing. So one thing that I'm not seeing in this is an overall intensity button. It's a give and take for me. Sometimes those get confusing for me. So we have to set overall intensity based off of the blue, white, red, and green channel. So let's just get rid of the greens. Let's get rid of the whites because most of us, when we start our tanks in the morning, we like it on that heavy blue setting. So that's fine, 7 a.m. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to daylight. Let's set the daylight setting. There are base colors here, 10K. If you wonder how I look under 14K, that's how I look, 12K and then fluorescence, which is gonna gotta be that heavy blue. It's the heavy blue spectrum that we all like for our colors. Again, I'm not seeing an overall intensity button. Not gonna make or break it for me. I'd like to see that. It's gonna make it a little bit easier for those new hobbyists. You're gonna be wondering how much blue, how much white, but we do have these set color spectrums, which is gonna make that easier. So I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit, and then we just go back we set our sunset time. Let's make it nine o'clock at night just for the fun of it. And we leave the settings where they are. <clears throat> and then we go back to a sunset setting. So we can change the colors at sunrise, during the day, and then at sunset. And then we have a moonlight setting as well. 
how long do you want that to go after the sun is set? And you can set those colors, uh, which is cool. So there's a blue kind of sun or blue moon setting. And then there's also like a, a one that's a little more white, depending on what kind of moonlight that you want for your tank. So that's that. There's a weather forecast, storm. What's the percentage on that? So we have to enable the weather. So that's nice. Rolling random storm, full storm, full storm. Wonder what that is. We have the percentage of this up to 50%. Okay, so 50% chance of weather. Personally, I don't use the weather setting on my LEDs, but some people would like it. With the Loop app, if you had currents, pumps, then it will synchronize that. If it goes into storm mode, then it can kick up the pumps, actually flash the lights, uh, and give you that kind of storm effect. And then you can also come in here and create custom colors. Just do some dragging around if you want to do it. And then, now what I'm curious about, we just made this custom color. How do I save this custom color? It's not jumping out at me how I do it. I hit the gear button. That's not it. How do I save this custom color? That's not it. Custom color. Huh, okay. So you can create a custom color. It's not clear to me just going blind into the software how you save that custom color. Then my thought is, if I make this custom color, how do I pull it back up? Does it then go into base colors? I'm wondering what that is really for and how we access it. All right, overall though, we have an easy to use app. There's some things I would like to see, such as overall intensity. I like that I can turn things on and off very easily with that button. The overall intensity button or overall intensity slider for me, thinking about a new user, you're not gonna be clear if you slip hit into the 10K setting, but then you wanna change the intensity, you then have to change the sliders. If you just change one, then that can kick it out of a 10K type of light. So would like to see that uh, color overall intensity setting. Maybe the, I'm just not seeing it. Current USA can chime in on the comments if there is that, that I missed it. But this is an easy to use light, has some nice features that I would expect out of a light. Connects via Bluetooth. I'm noticing that there's only Bluetooth connection. So I'm curious if there's gonna be some kind of Wi-Fi. So when you're away, if you wanna monitor your tank, especially with that temperature probe, you've got it. Why not be able to monitor it somewhere else? So I'm wondering if that's coming in terms of functionality with this R24 light. Now, some of you are asking about PAR readings. I'll hook this thing up over my tank and get some readings. I'm not gonna do that right now. Just giving you the first look on the software. I'll dive deeper into those light readings a little further on. Overall though, look, this is mostly intuitive. It's got some features that I like. It would integrate, it'd be fun to integrate this thing with some loop. Uh, those pumps and really see what those wave pumps do for it and how it all works together in this loop ecosystem. So overall, I like what I see. Would I put this on my tank if I was looking for a more budget type of light that had some features like an app, then yeah, I would give this thing a go, especially for the price point. Get your feet wet. Look, once you have success at this level, then if you want to build into a different type of light, you certainly can. Some people don't want to spend $900 on their first LED light, which I can understand, but this light has enough features that I would expect at the price point that I'd be confident in it, and it's gonna help me have a great experience, build my confidence, whether I wanted to go into more of these or potentially something else down the road. So great freshman effort from Current USA on the R24 with breaking into the lighting on the saltwater tank side. Maybe they have a bigger light in the future, and as requested, we put this thing over my tank take some PAR readings and report that back to you. So there we go. There is a first look at the software side of the Current USA R24 Lite. Till next time, I'm Mark Callan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwaterquarant.com. I'll catch you in the next episode once I'm not blind and bathed in blue, but hey, maybe it's making me for s. Have a great one.